this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Alright guys, today's back with another episode of the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Series. And today's episode we'll be helping to do some mining and like for some more cave systems to do some more mining. So let's hop into it. Basically, recently I've actually been right low on real world resources and I'm actually down on my last iron ingot. So I need all the resources I can get from coal to iron to gold to diamonds to emeralds to lapis to redstone all the resources I can get my hands on right now will be really useful to me speaking of resources you might have seen in my last video that I successfully got a bed and now I have my respawn point changed and the tree house is built everything's going according to plan I at least like now have some source a source of food some pork chop and two chicken cooked chickens I mean that's a good start right don't you think it's a good start well I basically obviously think it's a good start for when to survive you can't survive without resources. You can't survive either survive without, without food, without tools, armor, those are the basic things of survival. And without them, you're pointlessly use you're actually useless. Your whole survival aim is pointless. Because you ain't gonna survive with only your hands, punching a zombie, punching a skeleton, you will eventually die. Okay guys, the creepers right behind me and just exploded and there's some mobs in front of me like you can see the skeleton over there with a few zombies and more creepers and spiders but we're trying to avoid all of that right now because there's, we don't have any armor, we don't have any permanent source of food. I manage, I'm trying to manage my resources right, right now. So it's actually going to be pretty hard to survive today, this night at least. So instead of doing the, doing the old fashioned way, we're going to do some Minecraft parkour. I guess many of you like parkour. Some are pros at it, some still learning how to do parkour, but let me, but let me tell you. This isn't my first rodeo with parkour. I'm a certified Minecraft Amazonian. I've been doing parkour in my sleep. I'm just kidding, I'm totally new at parkour, but you get the point. So, first things first, you gotta get in one of those trees and start. But parkour, trees with Parkour with trees is actually pretty simple. I mean, the trees are connected closely together, and, and there's actually no effort that you put into it. Okay. Oh no, bad idea, bad idea. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to find another way to get those wood. Okay guys, I'm back and I found an easier way to parkour down those woods without without being chased by any mobs. Oh man, I just screwed myself up. It's actually kind of kind of been hard in, in this channel. You know, starting off with little, little, little or no experience, no subscribers, you have to start from scratch. And I'd like to ask you all to please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, comment down below, oh, because you fans are what keeps this Minecraft channel going. I mean, the fans, the subscribers, the viewers, you are all what keeps YouTube going, you know what I mean? You are meaningful, and you are part of the YouTube family, you understand what I mean? At least you are part of my family. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, 
share this video with your friends, family members, everyone you know. Because you guys are like my second family right now. YouTube is my second home right now. And I need a lot of support if you want me to continue this channel. Okay. I found a way back to my... Uh, I'm gonna have to knock the zombie off the street if I know there's any chance for me to survive. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm not good. In three, two, one. You know what just happened right now? Yes, we all know what just happened. Back to the top. Okay, guys, I'm back, and let's do some little mining. I think I found a giant earthquake-like crater or whatever it is in the center of a village. You guys gotta see this. This is huge. That thing could hold up to a million zombies at once and I don't have the resources or the tools to fight or face a million zombies I can't even run away if I get into that hole the only way out is to mine okay guys we're approaching the crater like mega alien spaceship thingy drop points. I can't, I can't remember where it is exactly, but I'll, I'll get there soon. Seriously, I'll get there soon. Just a little patience and a little searching comes great power. Okay guys, I found the crater like Asteroid spaceship crash point. It's literally huge and it's home to two zombies, two creepers, a spider. I know there's some skeletons also and some more things to come, but at least we gotta find a way to get down there. And we can't go down there unarmed, or else we're going to be harmed. But wait a second. Have one gold ingot and some oak planks. I can make some sort of protection from this. I'll be back. Just give me. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got a crafting table, got some more wood, and now it's time for the moment of truth. I hope this recipe works because it's been quite some time. Oh my gosh. It worked. Oh, the mighty shield of justice. Oh. Okay, that was a little too much. I know, I know. But for a second there, I thought I heard them. They were singing. I know you're probably wondering, who are they? Yes, the mighty Minecraft protection gods. You're responsible for the, all the sources of protection you get in this game. I know, I know you might be thinking I'm going crazy. Even I myself, I'm thinking I'm going a little bit cuckoo, cuckoo. Anyway, but first up, we gotta, if we wanna get down there safely, we gotta get a bucket of water. And we need to smelt this ore like ASAP and get ourselves some, um, some protection like. 
weapons, armor. I think a Angus can give you um, uh, a chest plate, right? Can a Angus give you a chest plate? I'm pretty sure Angus can give you a chest plate. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. Our main objective is to go get down there, get ourselves some tools, some resources, get back up as soon as possible, and also have fun while doing it. Okay guys, I think I have an alternative. Yep, this is the best way case scenario to travel down here. Only me. So safe, so 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 serene. I actually wish I could get some. Oh no, phone's over. Okay, we have to be careful because we're eating out of our last sources of food. And this is all the food we have, so we have to conserve it. We have to do what we gotta do ASAP without any wastage of time. No, 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 no! Creeper exploding up in my face! Man, that's scary. No, 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 no! Okay. I'm kind of lost right now. Okay, I'm safe. This is practically my only source of resources right now because I haven't found any caves, no cave systems, no dungeons, nothing. I think I can hear a zombie. Let me just equip my shield right here with a pickaxe in hand for some massive. Loaves and other things. No, creeper, creeper, I'm done. Creeper, creeper, they creep up on you, they kill you, they ain't got time, they ain't respect you, nothing. Creeper, creeper, yellow sneaker, I'm done with you, get out and out of my face. Never come back, I'll never see you again. Goodbye, creeper. That was a total boom. At least we managed to get five ingots, right? Yep. Five more iron ingots, that means a chest plate, some leggings, and maybe boots? I don't know. I think I'm gonna sleep at this village for this for tonight, because I don't have enough food to speed run all the way down to the village with all the mobs and the parkour tree climbing and the dying and the explosion of the unloyal and unforgiving creepers. Die zombie. Get in there. Get in there with your zombie friend. I mean, I think pickaxes should do a lot more damage. You know why I think so? Bad idea, bad idea. Retrieving, 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 speed running, speed running, speed running, speed running. Run away from them, run away from them. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking. Okay, guys, I'm safe. Found some refuge in this little librarian village house, but the zombies are out there waiting for me. They're surrounded with the door entrance. There's no way in, no way out. So there's no way to sleep. Okay, they've gone away. Hopefully I should be able to sleep now. They may not rest there are monsters. But why can't I rest and the villager can rest? I don't think that's fair, you know. The villager can rest when there are monsters nearby, but I can't when there are monsters nearby. Okay, monsters are dying. That's a good sign. I mean, this uh, librarian and I will be safe. At least I will be safe. Or I actually think it's the other way around. He'll be safe because he has his iron golem. And 
only zombies attack him. I won't be safe because basically almost every single mob out here is dangerous. But so far so good, you know. 13 iron ingots, iron ingots, already right, don't, oh no, creeper, creeper, lemon sleeper, never come by me, or, you know what, you know what comes next. Did I just make that rhyme up? I think I'm pretty good at making rhymes. Hey, yo, creeper, come at me, yeah, you're so that good blowy stuff up. I wonder what makes you guys tick so much. You know what I'll do if I were a creeper? Go for every single mob village, mob infested village, and blow it up. Blow it up good. Nice and easy. It'll actually make me feel kind of happy. And I'll actually have some sort of sense of achievement. Isn't that what it's called? Anywho, instead of wasting my time roaming around this village, I better head home and get some rest, regroup, start a farm maybe, eat some bread, rest, smell the sore, and some other things. Maybe even get a pet cat or a pet dog. One that will keep creepers and scuttons away from me. Maybe then, when I start my farm, I can get a kind of renewable source of food. But there is one thing I am not going to waste my resources on, and that is an iron hub. The worst tool you can never waste your resources on is a hub. And you know, my friends, I am not going to waste my own hardened suffering resources on a stupid hoe. I think that makes me feel better right now. I let, I let it all out. Come on. Let it all out with me now. Calm yourself. Go to your happy place. Hum. Hum. Um, I actually felt pretty good. I better make a chest to store all my resources and all of my, all of everything I got in this expedition. And then hop out, hop back out, start that farm. What do you think? I think it's a perfect idea. I'll be with that. I'll be here, right here, making my own farm. Maybe even start training my own animals, breeding my own animals, making my own farm. Maybe do a little redstone. That's actually kind of cool to me. Redstone. What is this redstone? I think redstone is like the electronics of Minecraft. Don't you think so? We have all the pistons, the repeaters, the comparators, the redstone dust, the redstone block, the observer, the dropper, the hopper, the dispenser, the redstone torch, all those things, and the new 1.16 target block with the new buttons, pressure plates, the lever, the, the doors. Trap doors. I think that would be actually be great, you know. Thanks guys for watching my Minecraft video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, never miss an upload on this survival series. Thank you very much. Remember the viewers, the subscribers, our part of the family, they're all important. They mean a lot to me, so please like my channel. Share it with all your friends and everyone you know and your family members. I'll see you in episode 3. Goodbye!